Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to The Basement as we are here for season two, episode six of Hell of a Boss. I, what are we leading to? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what our destination is. So I have no idea what to expect. So I have no idea how to react. <laughs> so last episode, Mox and Millie, again, showed themselves to the human, I guess you can say living world with their incestuous display of affection at a summer camp for kids. Sweet. And then we had the Blitz storyline with him and his sister and her rehab and no longer rehab and selling drugs and whatnot. Yeah, I didn't catch on at all that he had any family outside of the dad who essentially sold him. No siblings. Yeah. But how long, I just wonder, rhetorically, she had been in rehab. He'd been trying to help her get on her feet. And did his interaction with Stolas spur him further? I want more Stolas, I guess, basically. I want the Stolas. I want the the Goishas, Goishas, Stolas Goishas, and IMP to be a family. That's what I want. I hope that's what we get. We've got two more episodes to go this season-ish. Is it mid-season? I don't know, but I'm happy to be here. And I'm so glad that you are here with me as well. So we're going to get under the big cozy blanket. What do I have? I'm looking at my beverage. Ooh, I have a good old fashioned Irish mule, whatever you have. I hope you enjoyed the heck out of it. And yeah, hit subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And let's get to it. <laughs> Who is this? He's a thirsty boy. Okay. Rise and shine. Oh, these guys, right, from the Lustrum. So today, you have a meeting with the distributor about the new shipment of vibrators. Then, you gotta host a safety meeting because of what happened with the old shipment of vibrators. And then, you have a nooner with Prince Stolas. <sighs> nooner with Stolas? You know what I'm craving? Burgers! No, it's too early for burgers, you maniac. Burger time, burger time, burger time! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed what it said. What did it say? You're still going to that contest rehearsal without me? Well, you have a packed day today. So. It's the greed ring. You worry too much. You know I ain't afraid of ropes. Sides, I'm slippery. I mean, only after I... What? What? <laughs> I can get you an escort. Uh, I can handle it. Come on, Big Daddy. Please. You know I can't say no to a face that cute. Mm-hmm. That's why I use it. Oz, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have the new shipment of. You mind trying to have an unemotional bang sesh here? Yeah, because we're so not in love. Yeah, love is stupid. Sure. Okay. Don't worry, Oz. I'll be super low-key. Nobody will notice me. <laughs> okay. Man, it's great not being in the spotlight for once. So, why didn't he just get dropped off wherever it is he needs to go? Oh no! You only know how to make coffee that tastes like this. Why is Blitz there? Yeah, well, at least I'm still actually working for my shit and not getting everything handed to me like some pampered attention whore. Well, it's from a pampered whore, not attention whore. Yeah, well, guess that's what resilience and talent gets you. <laughs> Plus, my horns were always bigger than yours, weren't they? Just keep walking, Blitz. So, you say you're good? Because we really need a big score right now. But I have a body count in the hundreds. I ain't afraid to go after anyone. 
I'll tell you what. If you can deliver something of value, I'll consider it. One moment. Ta-da! You can never be too large. <laughs> you can never be too large. Wow. That is, is quite something. Whatever that is. Why is it exploding? I um, seem to have found myself with feelings for him. And I'm not sure if it's a mutual thing. It lust shouldn't be about force. It's an art. It's a pea eye candy. And enjoy it. It's all about that journey. Those are amazing. He needs to access the mortal realm to carry out his work. I know your demons are some of the only ones who can traverse freely and legally. I was wondering if you could assist me in finding a way he could too. But my partner, a uh, business partner, Fizzarelli, hates your imp guy, Blitzo, right? Trust me, I would help if I could, but I can't. Sorry. Are the daddies gonna have to go after their kids? Their baby booze? All you need to know is I have your little jester here with me. Do you have any idea who you are fucking with? I think it's a recording. You probably just asked if I know who I'm dealing with. I know. The weakest and most non-threatening of the sins. The king who will do whatever it takes to save the worst kept secret in all of hell. My lawyers will be over shortly with the contract of the man. <laughs> now cut. I said cut it, you- And now, we're, Stolas is gonna get a message. <laughs> Next. Oh, relax. I'm sure your big royal chicken ain't gonna let anything happen to his peppy little fuck doll. What about you? Seems your tastes have gotten more regal lately. <laughs> Stolas only cares about having a rugged peasant raw dog him into his mattress. It's nothing... You know, it's nothing else. Whatever, I don't actually care. I mean, Stolas is just a loud, thirsty bitch. It's a novelty to him. Literally just said I don't care. And then he'll call me and try and see how my day was. And he'll pretend to care about me and comment on my photos and laugh at my jokes. Oh, well that's definitely your clue right there that it's all bullshit. Sounds like you just hate him for being a prince. Because no one, and I mean no one, pretends to care that much just for a cheap lay. You two shut the fuck up already. The striker's watching him. But at least Loudmouth here has the sense to only fuck his rich bitch instead of being a little purse dog. Oh great, the fucking supremacist is on my side. Wonderful. Keep your hands off the merchandise! Can we move this along? Sire, you need to know the contents of this contract. A deal made with a sin like yourself would be everlastingly binding. Perhaps I can look it over. I'm a fast reader. This is a contract giving Crimson all of Ozzy's factory assets and giving him permission to use Fizzeroli's head for a wall decoration. Wait, what? Just making sure you're paying attention. <laughs> Here's the real contract. Oh, this will be fun. I love words. I love words. <laughs> you're really bad at this. Why was Blitz in the greed realm? Hmm. You want me to get you out? Yes. You had a knife this whole time. Now stop bitching while I work this. I just noticed the tape on his nipples. Ah, bingo. I mean, I could stretch down there. No. I have a better idea. Jesus. Shut the fuck up! Oh, fuck me. <laughs> he has popcorn already. <laughs> well, that didn't show off. Run! <laughs> Those are his weapons. <laughs> this usually works. <laughs> I'm a performer. I sing, I dance, I promote products that I don't actually use. He's not a an assassin. You always care what 
I thought. <laughs> After what you did to me? I didn't do anything. It was an accident. An accident? Backstory. You wanted me gone because you were jealous. I looked up to you. I thought you were my best friend. You ruined my life. And then you just left me. I lost so much because of you. And you selfish piece of shit, you didn't even care. I did care. I was trying to get help, Fizz. I just... It was still my fault. I am so sorry that you got so hurt, but you have no idea what I lost in that fire. I'd hate me too. I mean, I do hate shit! <laughs> ah! So, why didn't you try to tell me any of this? I tried, for all I had left, Fizz, but they told me you didn't want to see me. I never told them that! Bullshit, you didn't? No, and no one told me you came! Oh... oh. moment here <laughs> misunderstanding or no it's hard to just forgive you it's been 15 years and that's so much time that festered and it festered and it festered well you're telling me getting blown up didn't ruin your life it was painful and challenging and you know fuck you still but it's not like i'm broken my life has actually been pretty great it's been fantastic because, you know, it's a great gig, and, and and he's got the biggest cock, you know, like massive. I mean, imagine, like, the biggest, just a giant, huge, like a kaiju. Like a kaiju. No one wants a kaiju inside them. If you want to prove yourself, cowboy, here's your chance. <laughs> but he needs Fizz alive. But what about Blitz? Break you like a fucking horse. Oh, don't you dare talk sexy to me. You're still on the horse thing? Remember how you used to distract my dad so I could steal his booze? Yeah, well, I need to get up to that window there to bust us out. Oh, one distraction coming up. When I was a young boy, but what I'll miss the most, pay close attention. Get a look at this! Yeah, look at this! Then look at that! <laughs> if you focus on me as the story unfolds, look at this! I hold the key to the mystery! Look at this! Look at nothing except for me! I don't know how! I can do this. I'm gonna need another 60 seconds. Stop. Why does he need to? Uh, well, he's welding. What? I don't understand. Luigi, Firenze, Bucatini. I am running out of places I can take this bitch. So look at this. No fucking bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Keep going, boys, keep going. I guess royal jesters first. <gasps> oh no! You think I'm just gonna let you get away after all this? I'm through losing these fights. I'll at least enjoy getting rid of them. Okay, is it bad that I'm getting hard? Shut the fuck up! Why is it always a sex thing? Why is it always a sex thing? <gasps> oh no, another fire! Fire. You blew me up again, you fucking prick. I did, but this time I stuck around. Would it fuck up the moment if we made out right now? <laughs> That's it! I'm going to fucking end your life! <sighs> Fizzy! Ozzy! Aww. <laughs> is his arm broken? Like, broken, broken? I knew it went... <laughs> but I didn't know because it was broken. Run. 
Right. Oh. Get fucked, little one. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got a little messy. You don't need to apologize for getting banged up. I'm just sorry I couldn't be there. Oh, he has a new arm. Guess I'm just not used to this kind of thing. It's an electronic fake arm. <gasps> oh. How was your day? Well, I was stuck with Stolas the whole time. Who asked me to give him one of my crystals as a gift for that guy you hate? So. I told him? No. Nah, fuck it. Let him have it. You could say he earned it. Anything for you. Oh, it's got a little heart. Oh, that's so cute. I don't know about you, but having a violent brush with crime has given me a whole mess of new kinks. You really think that's a good idea right now? Don't you? Obviously. <laughs> so if Blitz, I got, I got a thought. I got a thought. I really like this episode. And I think, even though it didn't have like Millie or Mox or anything, I think I loved it because we got more of the Blitz backstory. We got some movement with Stola, Stolas because I think if Blitz has the ability to come and go to the living plane on his own, he won't need Stolas anymore. And if he doesn't need Stolas anymore, then Stolas can, can break away. Or also Stolas will know that Blitz is with him only because he wants to be with him, not before the power he provides. It's a test. It's a test, Blitz. It'll be a test. But I'm also glad that him and, and Fizz reconciled as best as they could. So then where do we end? Is that where we end with Stolas and, and Blitz? Basically Stolas giving Blitz his freedom and saying, here you go, you got the power. Will you come see me? And that's it. I hope it doesn't end on a cliffhanger, but if it's supposedly a mid season or a season finale, it probably will. So it's all bitches. But is that where we end it? Oh, I don't know, I don't know. So you will need to be here with me when I find out, which will be sooner rather than later because I'm going to try to finish these right quickly. So do not be a stranger if you haven't already. Hit subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Go get something to drink and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all. And until next time.